Festivals are occasions to spend time with friends and family, of religious ceremony and of introspection. However, some festivals can be quite deadly. In the Kumau region of Uttarakhand in India, a dangerous festival of stone pelting is organized annually. Outside of this region to the rest of the world, this festival would seem bizarre. Snuggled amongst the peaks of the majestic Himalaya, Kumau is located in Uttarakhand, a hill state of North India. Its cool, fresh mountain breeze, the ethereal Himalayan views, tall, swaying pine and yodar trees, and the stepped cultivation of hill crops would captivate any visitor. Kumau has its own distinct and impressive traditions, festivals, and culture. Its people, brave, hard-working and honest. In this region lies the small town of Lohaghat. The scenic town is a hidden corner of unspoilt beauty. It has a rich historical heritage. On the banks of river Lohavati, Lohaghat is a destination of great historical and mythological significance. In the 19th century, the British were so overwhelmed by its beauty that they proposed to develop it as the summer capital of the British Empire in India. The area is an exquisite combination of natural beauty, historical importance and a salubrious atmosphere. An hour's drive away from Lohaghat is Devi Dhura village, which is famous for its Barahi temple where a bizarre festival is held once every year on the day of the Hindu festival of Raksha Bandha. This unusual fair, which attracts people from Kumau, Garhwal and Nepal among other places, is held every year at the temple of Barahi Devi. During this festival, known as Bhagwal, two groups from different clans throw stones at each other while trying to protect themselves with large shields. The participants do not care about the injuries they receive. In fact, the injuries are believed to be a blessing from the goddess. Look, this is the case of Maa's mother. At that time, you don't see if it's a case of a case or not. You can see that we don't have to play with the God of God. It is claimed by the people of Devi It is claimed by the people of Devi Dhura that nobody has ever died as a result of the stone pelting during this unusual fair. Bhagwal starts with the offering of bells to Goddess Barahi. People come in processions from the nearby villages to offer big bells to the Goddess. One of the most important rituals of this festival is the animal sacrifices. It is an old tradition to sacrifice animals on the day before Bhagwal. People from nearby villages bring goats to be sacrificed to the goddess as they believe that the sacrifices will please goddess Barahi. As many as 70 goats are sacrificed during this festival. The next day, on the day of Rakshabandhan, four khans or clans, namely the Chamyals, the Lamgariyas, the Garavals and the Vali, participate in this unusual ritual of stone pelting. At first, the warriors from Lamgaria Khan reach the battlefield. They circumambulate the temple, after which the rest of the Khans enter the battlefield after circumambulating the temple as well. All the warriors of the different Khans are in high spirits. They jump around the courtyard as if warming up before the battle. Thousands of people came to witness Bhagwal this year. Bhagwal is held in the courtyard of Goddess Barahi's temple. It is said that Devi Dhura used to be a dense forest in which 52,000 warriors and 64 yoginis had unleashed a reign of terror. In order to get rid of this constant threat, the villagers of Devi Dhura decided to please the goddess by offering one human sacrifice every year. Goddess Barahi fulfilled their wish and granted them her protection. The sacrificial man was stoned till death. The practice of human sacrifice continued up till the reign of the Chand rulers.
It is said that when the grandson of an old lady belonging to the Chamyal Kham or clan was to be sacrificed, the old lady prayed to Goddess Barahi to spare the only surviving male descendant in her entire family. All four clans also prayed to the goddess to accept blood equivalent to that of one man. The goddess accepted this prayer since this time the practice of Bhagwal came into being. जब एक मनुष्य के बराबर रक्त निकल जाता है उसके बाद यह भगवाल बंद हो जाती है और नरमेर यज्ञ मान लिया जाता है With the blowing of a conch shell Bhagwal starts around 2:30 pm and continues for 10 minutes During the Bhagwal the two groups of people throw stones on each other while they try to protect themselves by using large shields इधर हमारा जमाई है और इधर हमारा लड़का है तो लड़का मतलब जमाई को पत्थर मार रहा है और जमाई लड़के को मार रहा है तो पता है तो भाई वो जमाई है जोरिंग बगवाल ब्लड फ्लोस फ्रॉम द इंजरीज ऑफ मेन कॉज ड्यू टू द स्लोन पेल्टिंग He stops the ritual as soon as the blood of men equivalent to that of one man has been offered to the goddess. To stop the bhagwal the priest goes to the battlefield and asks the warriors to stop the bloodshed. Nearly 60 warriors got injured due to the bhagwal this year and a few of them were seen bleeding profusely. People witnessed the bhagwal with rapt attention. At the end of the ritual the warriors of the four khams embrace each other and inquire after each other's welfare. Though it is far different from our usually accepted notions of festivals, Bhagwal is celebrated with full zeal and excitement in Devi Thura. The festival is a matter of pride in their heritage for the people of Devi Thura. It has been celebrated since time immemorial and looks like it will continue thus for a long time to come.